let's refocus right now because San Diego State's got this huge game coming up on Saturday on the road against Boise State. And joining us right now, one of the senior leaders, defensive tackle Noble Hall, is joining the Cannons. Noble, how are you today? Hey, how's everybody going? I'm doing pretty good. I'm happy to be back. It is great to have you back, Noble. And it's it's especially this week. Uh, you know, we're trying to give you as much Cannon karma as we possibly can. We know it's going to be a tall order Give us a little insight uh, on this week off. You know, you've been in the program, obviously, for a number of years now. When you have a huge game coming up, did you like the fact that you had a bye week before this big game? And that bye week was really, was really a, you know, it was perfect timing for us. It was perfect time for the whole team. You know, we got to get a, a week off before we start, you know, eight weeks straight of conference play. And also say that I was – it was a good thing for me because it was my last week of being hurt. So, you know, it was a free week for me. I had to miss a game or anything. Those bye weeks are real important. I feel like the team we took advantage of and we got better. Noble, how are you with the injury? 100% healed or where are you? I'm not, I wouldn't say 100%. I'd say I'm about 75, almost 80%. It feels good. I'll be playing in the game with a club. So that I'll be protecting it. it it'll, it'll be better though soon. Was it, hey, remind me, was it was it a wrist or a hand? It was my wrist. I had dislocated my wrist. That's okay. But so they'll just wrap it up and put some padding against it, and you're ready to go. Yeah, I'm wearing a big old club for the game. I'm uh, wearing it this week for practice. I'll be wearing it for the game, too, on Saturday. All right, well, let's use that club to uh, good effect. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Noble, uh, it's payback time. Last year, of course, you guys were sitting at 6-0. and Boise came into SDCCU, and you guys just did not play a good game, and Boise took advantage of that. When you're, when you're playing against a team that you lost to, and the Aztecs haven't lost a whole lot of games over the last few years, is that additive incentive, or is that just yesterday's news? Oh, no, that's for sure additive incentive. You know, the guys, the whole team last year, we, we came to the game, you know, a little lackadaisical, uh, and knowing that I was one of our biggest rivals, uh, we're not going to do that this year. This year we've come into the game, we're going to be locked in. We don't want the same things to happen last year with the team, just mental errors and everything. And when adversity hits us, we're going to respond perfectly for them. Aztec Senior Defensive Tackle Noble Hall with us here back on the Loose Cannons. Noble, Rocky Long has said that this is your is kind of like a typical Boise State team. When he says typical, what does he mean by that? Uh, I will think when he says typical, he just means they're always going to have a great group of guys, talented guys on both both sides of the ball. Um, they're going to try to pound the ball on us. You know, they're going to try to play hard football. They're not going to try to you know skip around anything. They're going to just come at us, no secrets at all. They've had they've had pretty decent offensive lines in the past. Is this another good offensive line for the Broncos? Yeah, it's another good offensive line, but we don't look at it any different from, you know, Stanford to even ASU. We look at it like we want to get our job done. We're not going to let those guys, you know, blur up our, our assignments or anything. We're just going to go at them. They're, they're no different from Stanford or any other team. Noble, three straight wins at home, and none of them were easy. Struggled against Sac State. They had a fourth-quarter lead. Great game, second half, obviously, against Arizona State. They got too close at the end. And then you go overtime to beat Eastern Michigan. Are those character-building wins for this team that obviously has a lot of young players? Absolutely. You know, I feel like the guys that, you know, don't have too much experience get the experience, you know, a close victory, you know, how it feels to, you know, be in the hot seat, I would say. So, uh I feel like, you know, going forward for the season, we, we don't want that to happen with us. We don't want close games like that where, you know, we can't hold our breath in the fourth quarter. We're going to try to come out the first quarter and just play Aztec football, you know. I'll let them get anything. Noble, one of the areas that really has impressed me has been the offensive line for this football team this year. It was a group that Rocky wasn't really sure about last year. Excuse me, Coach Long wasn't sure about last year. And this year, I think he realizes they're still growing, but he's got a pretty significant group up there blocking and, and pass protecting. You go against them every day in practice. How far has that group come along? Yeah, I, I can say they, they came along a long way. Last year, I can say well, it was basically all freshmen playing at the front. You know, last year they got in, they got their their game skills, and they got they did they did what they could do last year for Rashad Penny. You know, he used them to the, his best ability, and this year. They come back and they're playing faster. They're more experienced, and they got that game time experience. So that's a real good thing for us. So Alana, they're going to be great this year. Noble, you're a fifth year senior. You've had a lot of time in this program. And one thing about Rocky Long, he really leans on senior leadership. He really makes it a point that seniors on his teams not only assume that leadership role, but really take it seriously. What is it like? 
as a fifth year senior at San Diego State like yourself? It's a, it's a lot of weight on my shoulders. You know, I got, you know, all the guys looking up to me, asking me questions. Personally, I like it. You know, I like to, you know, mentor younger guys and, you know, uh, point them to the right direction. It, it's, it, it feels really good, you know, that Coach Long expects me and my other fellow seniors to lead the team because who else is going to lead the team? You know what I mean? And uh, we've got the guys that are buying into the program and they know what we want to do. And it's, we're going for that championship. Noble, what are you majoring in? Uh, I majored in uh, criminal justice. So as a fifth-year senior, is the is the course load heavy for you this semester, or is it a little lighter? Uh, no, it's actually pretty chill. Uh, I only have one class a week. One, day, one, uh, one class a week on Monday at nighttime after practice. So I'm, uh, the rest of the week I'm just really chillaxing. I love those senior years oh, when you just have that best. light workload <laughs> yeah. out there. I know, but you're going up to Boise State, and they got that blue field, man. Is that a how, – how is it – I mean, you've played a football career, I would imagine, on green fields, whether it's grass, artificial, turf, whatever. Does it seem strange when you step on that blue field? Uh, I feel like it'll be a little a little different, but it's just the field. It's not going to change anything with the play. I don't understand why guys, you know, pump up that field and give them, and give them such an advantage because they have a green field, but I don't think it'll affect us at all. Hey, Noble, you're, are you a Las Vegas native? Are you from Nevada? Yeah, I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada, yeah. Okay. NFL question for you. How are the Raiders going to work in, in Las Vegas? Is it going to be a success, you think? Absolutely, yes. If you just think about the city of Las Vegas, we've never had anything to when it comes to sports. You know, we got our first hockey team in the, in the uh, Vegas Knights. we got our first WNBA team, and now we're trying to get our first NFL team. It's going to be great. The city's going to love it. I'm already knowing. Yeah, and what about uh, Noble Hall playing for the Raiders in Las Vegas? That's not too shabby, huh? Yeah, that's not. Let's keep let's keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll get to his Raider career down the road. We're going to focus in on Boise State. Well, Noble, it's always great to have you on. Uh, a great leader, great career at San Diego State. Let's keep it going. And I tell you one thing: when you guys come back with a win from Boise, uh, everyone's going to be taking notice. That's for sure. Good luck this weekend. Absolutely. I appreciate you having me on again. Thank you. Thanks, All right, there he is, Noble Hall. Noble Hall. By the one. way. Class. You know, he, he actually changed his name to Noble, honoring his father who was shot and killed before he was born. Um, it's a, quite a story about Noble Hall. I think his real name was Edmund or something like that and, and changed to Noble Hall. You know, again, how many, I mean, how many. It's a broken record. Steve. How many senior <laughs> leaders do we get on this show? And every time we talk to any one of these kids from San Diego State, they're just impressive. Impressive. You, Every single one of them.